Crypto tip of the day. If you're only buying your crypto on centralized exchanges like Binance, CoinSpot, Coinbase, and so on, um, it's too late. The reason for this is because you have to understand the cycle of how new projects get from where they were to where they are now. Now, for instance, whenever there's a new project on the market, they need a cash injection. So they need angel investors. This is where venture capitalists come in. So phase one is VCs inject a lot of money into these projects and they get a portion of the total supply as an allocation towards them, which is normally on a vesting unlock schedule for say the next three or four years. But they can own, by the end of that time frame, a total of say seven to eight percent of the whole supply. All right, so that's phase one. And obviously we're locked on those ones, but phase two is something that we can join in. And this is where there's an IDO. So say an initial DEX offering, um, or whether it's an IPO, an initial product offering. Um, but this is pr pretty much like a pre-sale before they actually go live on exchanges. So when it comes to pre-sales, most of the time you actually have to hold the native token um, of the project that is going to be launching on the launchpad. So for instance, if you want to buy off Cedify, that's the most known one, you have to, there's different tiers. I think there's one to like seven or eight tiers. And the more Cedify that you hold, the more allocation you're going to get um, with the IDO or the IPO or ICO. Now by this point already, we've probably, some coins have already done a 20 to 50x. All right, so phase three is where most of the market can come in, but a lot of people don't know how to do this. This is where they launch on a decentralized exchange after the first two phases have already passed. Now, when you launch on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, um, some people don't know how to navigate through that, but let's say um, on Uniswap, if you want to connect it to, say, like your Minimask, you have to hold Ethereum, say, for the, for the gas fee, and then you have to convert, say, your ETH or USDT to that native token. Now, assuming there's enough liquidity and there's enough trading volume going on, you should be able to buy big amounts. Um, and that's, that's phase three. Now, the last or the second last phase is uh, they get launched on, say, KuCoin or Gate.io. Now, these are centralized exchanges, but these are known for listing shit coins, uh, but not all the coins that are listed as shit. The final stage and where most of you are buying it is on centralized exchanges. This is where the coin has already run up 100x and you know big exchanges like Binance and Coinbase will never list a coin off the bat except for ApeCoin. It got lucky. ApeCoin got very lucky because what they want to do is they, they, they want to see that there's enough trading volume and there's going to be enough liquidity and demand for them to list that coin. Um, so initially when you're buying it on centralized exchanges, that's the last stop. It can still go up. There's still upside but the gains have really passed. So learn how to use decentralized exchanges, learn and learn how to use launchpads, will change your life.